Ladies and gentlemen, with much fanfare, one of the best welterweight free agents in the world has arrived on the greatest proven ground in mixed martial arts. Enter Michael Benham Page. Realized a lot of success in other big shows, but most fighters eventually want to test themselves in the UFC. That was the goal for Michael Benham Page. Outstanding striker, a finisher, really in all rounds of mixed martial arts. But there are a lot of interesting stylistic challenges for him in this UFC welterweight division. And the opposition tonight's gonna be trying to take this man down. Michael Benham Page with that infectious smile on full display has finally arrived in the UFC. Started with the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Leon Rocky Edwards. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Leon Rocky Edwards, the perennial welterweight contender, still criminally underappreciated from my mind. I just feel like people don't give him the credit he deserves for just the overall mixed martial arts game and acumen. And when we talked to him about his striking this week, he said, hey, come on, man, I can grapple too. We'll see how he chooses to proceed tonight. Oh, big head kick there. All right, nice early head kick for the champ, Leon Edwards. He waited a little bit to throw that weapon against Kamaru back in the day. No hesitation here early in this one. He does a great job of setting the, the strike up. He doesn't throw it blindly. He's always putting something in front of the high kicks that allowed for him to not only become the champion, but knock so many others out on his journey to becoming the best in the world. Straight left counter finds its own. Fast pace here in the early going. Leg kick checked by Edwards. Straight right is there. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Keep your hands up. 
Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there, really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Solid kick right there. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Edwards. All right, now the fighter lands a right punch and a pretty good one at that. Look at the control of the posture as he lands that knee. Circling away towards the left now. There's the single leg. Trying to set up a choke here. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get some. Oh, nice. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Back and forth we go. Throwing that jab, no good. Well, now these kicks, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Punches. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. <laughs> trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Gets back up. Thirty seconds to go. Inside leg kick. Twenty seconds left. Fifteen seconds. Nice punch lands over the top. Knee to the body. Oh, Holy smokes. Deep breath and recovery. Nice job mixing up your strikes. Those leg kicks are really starting to pay off. Keep chopping him down. Throwing a leg kick. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high level competitors get in each other's face tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's round two on the way. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the first did a fantastic job of mixing up his partner. Not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. 
got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Oh, beautiful strike in there by Leon Edwards. He has really become a well-rounded welterweight. You saw in the Gunnar Nelson fight how good his wrestling defense was. Leon Edwards is a real problem, DC. Oh, nice takedown defense. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, straight punch. Back and forth we go. Beautiful kick lands there. Well, don't get mad, Denny. He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give one. Nice shot lands downstairs. Under three minutes now to go here in round two. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike, and it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, now he lands a shot to the leg. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Gets to the single card. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Trying the flying knee there. Sides in that exchange. It got checked. All right, well, the calf kick has been a priority, and now his opponent is bruised in that area. It's all in the game plan, John. They had a game plan to come out there and beat that lead leg up, and that's exactly what he's doing. Less than a minute now to go in round two. Nice loop of punch. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. So that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Sidekick now. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. All right, All right that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. 
All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a fun oh, oh, A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 23 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Leon Rocky Edwards. What a moment for Leon Edwards, another massive knockout. I'm not sure any KO is ever going to be on the level of what he did to Kamaru Usman, but this one was pretty sensational tonight. Yeah, it was a tremendous knockout. I mean, sure, he didn't knock him out in the last 30 seconds like he did Kamaru Usman, but every time you can put somebody out, it feels like nothing you've ever felt before. It is the most exciting thing. Leon Edwards right now is riding a cloud like not many people have experienced by getting a knockout in that fashion. Congrats to the welterweight champ, Leon Edwards, very much looking like the best 170-pound fighter in the world tonight.